Hi folks, Mark here, Views from Mark. First off, as always, I hope wherever you are in the world that you're keeping safe, healthy, and that you and your loved ones are well. Uh, today's video is going to be a brief unboxing video. Yes, I know, another one. But this is a video that I had no knowledge I would be making even 24 hours ago. You know, it's not something that I had planned. Um, this came as a total surprise. Um, a brilliant surprise, but a total surprise nonetheless. So to give you some context and some backstory, um, about two weeks ago, so the end of October, I had an email come through from the Yamugi Boutique in London. And obviously I've had communication with them previously where I've been looking at watches and I've asked them if they can source particular um, edition numbers uh, for, for some watches that I've been interested in. I've always had fantastic engagement and customer service and a great experience whenever I've you know, had to contact them or when I've been into the store. So I had an email come through saying that they had an event coming up at the end, um, sorry, the start of November, so November 5th. It was going to be a virtual event in a substitution for what I imagine is a, an actual physical in-person event that they would do in normal times, so kind of pre-COVID and uh, pre-COVID times. But they were doing a virtual event this year and it's basically an opportunity for them to engage with their customers you know, have a networking opportunity for them to show off some of the new watches that they have or that are coming through to some of their collections and just, you know, have a get together and kind of check in. So I replied and said, absolutely, I'd be really interested in joining this online virtual, you know, get together. And um, they came back and said, great, we'll add you to the, to the list and we'll be in, in contact in due time. So fast forward to November the 5th, uh, which was yesterday. I hadn't heard anything further from them and I thought, okay, well, if it gets to the evening, kind of late in the day, I'll, I might give the boutique a call and um, see if there's any contact there. Because obviously in the UK here now, we've gone into a second lockdown until at least the 2nd of December. So it started on the 5th of November and it runs until the 2nd of December. So that means all stores, all shops are closed. So I didn't know if this virtual event would be going ahead or, or what would be happening. Anyway, in the afternoon, I got a ring at the front door, went to answer it, and there was a delivery man there with this box. Now, this was stood up on its side. I couldn't see this very obvious Fortnum & Mason logo at the time. Um, but he said, oh, this, this package is for you. And I thought, okay, well, that's odd because I've not ordered anything, but okay, thanks very much. Took it inside, put it up on the side, and obviously I then saw the Fortnum & Mason logo, and I thought, okay, well, I definitely haven't ordered anything from Fortnum & Mason. Um, but I'll check if it is for me. He looked at the address label and it was addressed to me. So I thought, okay. I wondered who it could be from. Was it from my work maybe? And I thought, well, no, they wouldn't randomly send me a, send me a box from Fortnum and Mason, but um, we'll open it up and have a look. So I opened it up and what I'm gonna do now is go through that process again, because I've not looked at everything that's inside this uh, box or what's contained within. Um, so this is gonna be as much of a surprise to me. I've seen kind of the, when I opened it up, I've seen the first, kind of ticket items, shall we say, or the most obvious um, visible items, but this is gonna be an experience uh, that I wanted to share. This came as a complete 100% surprise. It was a lovely surprise, but without further ado, I'm gonna change camera position, give you a view of what's inside, and you can see what I saw when I first opened up this box, and then what's inside. So this is how the Fortnum & Mason box or parcel arrived in this branded cardboard box with Fortnum & Mason on the front there. So there was really, as I say, complete surprise when I put this, you know, brought this into the house and I saw that logo on the side there. And there is a sticker down in the bottom left-hand corner that you can see here that says Fortnum & Mason as well. And underneath there's a barcode and above that it says the Rex Hamper, R E. X hamper. Now I've had a look on the Fortnum and Mason website. I can't see that as an option. So I'm imagining that this must be a custom order that Amiga put through to Fortnum and Mason. But once I'd undone, obviously all of the seller tape, if we then open up the top of the box. You can then get a slight glimpse of what's going to be inside. And the first thing that you notice or that kind of stood out was obviously this black package on the top and obviously there's a hamper underneath. It's fairly obvious what that is. But if I bring this um, black box to the front, you can see here it's quite thin, but it says Amiga on the front. Um, and obviously there's something fairly special inside here. Um, no idea what it was, but we'll open that in a moment as well. And then underneath 
there you can see obviously the top of what is a hamper, a wicker basket, which uh, Fortnum and Mason are kind of famous for their wicker hamper um, that they do. Now every wicker hamper comes with their logo F and M on the top. So what I'll do is I'll get this out of the cardboard box and then start to have a look at what's inside. So before we take a look at the actual wicker hamper, um, as I mentioned earlier, there was this small, black, quite thin Amiga box that was resting on top of the wicker hamper. And if I just take the lid off this now and give you a view of what was inside, you can see that inside here we've got, I wondered what it was myself at first, but we have a lovely moon themed notepad that you can see here. I'll just zoom in and hopefully you can get some of the detail on this um, and see there's obviously the moon design on the front here that's kind of embossed with uh, the lunar surface. Um, so yeah, there's a notepad in there. There's also a pencil underneath and then a quote from astronaut, legendary astronaut Buzz Aldrin himself where he says, we need to have people up there who can communicate what it feels like, not just pilots and engineers. So obviously Amiga were the watch of choice for all of the Apollo missions. It was the first watch on the moon. So Amiga has quite a long history with uh, NASA and space flight. Obviously they've done the um, Snoopy edition uh, watch Speedmaster, which was kind of a tribute to the Apollo 13 mission as well, um, which is lovely and has gone up significantly in value over the last few years since they released the first edition. So um, if you manage to have one of those, you've done very well. And obviously it is a beautiful watch as well, but they do also have a new non-limited edition of that watch, um, which is being released. That was featured in their online virtual event. But coming back to the hamper, what I'll do is we'll pan up. So obviously you can see that Fortnum and Mason um, are quite, quite famous for doing these kind of uh, luxury hampers. Um, you've got the F and the M on the top there. So what I will do is I will just come through and we will start to unbuckle these latches here. So there's one and here is the second. And then hopefully this gives you a view Inside, we open this up. You can see straight away there is a card in here. It says Novelties 5th of November 2020. Turn that around. Thank you. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to explore Amiga's novelties for 2020 and hope you enjoy delving into the details of our exciting new watches. Enjoy the enclosed with our compliments and we look forward to seeing you in person again soon, your Amiga team. That's very nice put kind of per, little personal touch there from the store. And then straight away, obviously, you can see that there is um, another Amiga box over here on the right. So if I take this out, um, you can see there we've got another square Amiga box. This does have a bit of weight to it. Um, and I wondered, oh, is this going to be a watch? But uh, no, no such luck. It is still lovely, though. And if I open this up and take this out, we have an Amiga branded scented candle. And I've got to say that this does smell incredible. It's got a very, um, I suppose masculine scent to it would be the way to put it, but um, it, it smells fantastic. And this will be perfect to have, you know, lit in the winter um, on these winter lights that we're now heading into. Um, so that's just a really nice touch as well. So moving on from the candle, obviously next is quite an obvious thing. It's a very large, very lovely bottle of Bollinger Champagne. Um, at the top of the bottle there, you can see we've got Amiga at the top. So this must be a custom order by Amiga for uh, this bottle of champagne. So that's very nice. So I will be probably saving this for New Year's Eve um, or Christmas, certainly. In fact, most of this I think would probably be great to have around Christmas and New Year's Eve or, or what have you. Um, then we've got a very nice Chianti, uh, Fortnum and Mason Chianti, 750 mil. Um, this is a 2018 and 14%. That will be very nice indeed. And again, 
a perfect kind of accompaniment for Christmas and New Year's. Um, so I shall enjoy uh, tucking into that as well. Now, that's as far as I've seen in terms of the, the contents of this uh, hamper up until now. So everything from this point on is new to me. So let's have a look in here as well. We've got something here. What is this? Obviously. So this is Fortnum and Mason cheese straws. Light, flaky and deliciously smoky. Made in Scotland for Fortnum and Mason, Piccadilly, London, England. So that's very interesting. I've never never seen these before, never had these, so that will be quite interesting. I'm not a huge fan of cheese, but I suppose these are, you know, cheese straws. They're kind of, yeah, we'll give them a go anyway, see what they're like. Very nice. Um, next, there is also a blue box in here. So let's have a look. Obviously, I think the, the uh, Bollinger has uh, weighed on these a little bit, but this is also some Stilton cheese straws. Strong and buttery and perfectly cheesy. Again, made in Scotland for Fortnum & Mason. So that's very nice indeed as well. I should put that to the side. So then, I don't think, no, there's nothing else under those. So it appears we've got some jars in here. So let's take out this and see. So we've got some hickory smoke mixed nuts. Again, Fortnum & Mason mixed nuts. Very nice indeed, quite a big uh, jar of those, 260 grams or 9.1 ounces. Um, so that'll be very nice, very festive as well for winter. Uh, next up, we have another small jar here, smaller jar of, um, what is this? So this is baked truffle mixed nuts. So that's very nice as well, 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. Um, again, that'll be very nice uh, to snack on in the evenings. Um, then we've got another box here. So hopefully you can see this. This is uh, Fortnum & Mason Milk and Dark Truffles. So that's very, very nice indeed. I myself, I don't eat chocolate. I can't eat chocolate. Um, so these will probably be a gift for someone, but they're, you know, very nice indeed. Fortnum & Mason, it's one of these brands where you know, lots of people have heard of the Fortnum & Mason hampers, and obviously you can get different sizes, different variations with, the, you know, luxury items in, inside like these. So these will, you know, be a nice treat for uh, whoever I end up giving them to anyway, but uh, very nice indeed. And I think, is there, oh, there's one more thing in here, one more item, let's have a look. So these are, just remove some of the, so this is some, Cocoa dusted milk chocolate almonds. So that's again, that's uh, not for me, but um, they will be very nice for someone. I think uh, the top there is kind of cracked, but I think that's purely because uh, the weight of that bottle of Bollinger and the wine, it's um, quite, quite something. So that's it. I mean, that was completely out of the blue, unexpected, a really nice surprise that, you know, this arrived on the day that we in the UK went into another lockdown, so it kind of lifted my spirits a bit. Um, but a huge thank you uh, to Amiga, to everyone at the Regent Street Boutique and even the Oxford Street Boutique as well, because that's where the, the virtual event was recorded. Um, it was a great event, really interesting to see some of the new additions to their lineup. Um, and there's some great watches that I you know, can't wait to go and have a look at in person. Um, but yeah, a huge thank you to Amiga. They've really gone over and above. This wasn't expected. Um, you know, not many companies, I think, would do this and kind of work on that customer relationship and the engagement and, you know, um, kind of drawing you back, I suppose is a way to put it, because the, it inspires loyalty when you get this kind of service from a company. And it's given me ideas for some future videos that I'm in the early stages of developing, um, you know, some ideas around where I'm going to hopefully look at the concept of customer service. And when we talk about companies like Amiga, NPL, Connolly or uh, Olibar Brown, what does customer service mean to them as much as what it means to us as customers? Because, as I say, not many companies go to this kind of level. And I've always had great service from Amiga and from the other companies that I've just mentioned, it's always been fantastic. So 
it'll be interesting to see, I think, what kind of makes them all stand out from the crowd, because you don't get this kind of service anymore. Not that much, I don't think. It's rare. So um, there's some ideas coming around that. I'm also going to be working on some more videos around my watches and the collection as it is now. So do come back for that. But if you have enjoyed this video, and I really hope you have, please do give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the little bell notification button so you'll get an update when I post something new. Um, and yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.